Hello everybody, this is Pretty from Simply Crafted and thank you so much for joining me. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make posters. So I have taken these posters of craft angles and they are 2mm in thickness. Let me tell you they are fabulous because the edging is amazing and the product quality is just amazing. Now these are the papers that I have selected and these are the papers I'm going to be using. I really like this paper with cars and I think it is fabulous. I really like this background so I'm going to be using these two together to make the posters. Now take the decoupage glue and take it out in a little bowl. Using that I'm going to be using this decoupage glue straight on the MDF coaster. Yes this time I'm not using any baseboard because I feel that quality of the MDF coasters is fabulous by craft angles. Now, after I have applied the decoupage glue, I am going to place it on the paper face down and press it really nicely from the center. I'm going to do the same thing with the second coaster as well. Now once I have placed these coasters, I'm going to press them really nicely, cut it out and of course sand the corners to make sure that I have very nice and crisp coasters. Having done that, I make sure that I seal each and every decoupage product that I make. So using the Craft Angles Decoupage Glue, I am going to seal both these coasters and give a very nice coat so that they are very, uh, you know, the quality is really good. As these dry, I'm going to get on to these papers with the cars and basically fussy cut these cars out really well. And then after deciding where do I want to place them, I'm going to apply the decoupage glue behind the paper and then stick it on the coasters where I actually want to do it like so and press it really nicely from the center towards the outside always and once i have done doing that i'm going to again give a top coat to seal this as well see the coasters are ready and are looking great next i have decided on taking this gray color and giving the base coat at the back and yes i'm going to give another coat on this but with a different color this is the blue color that I have used and this is the coat which I'm going to give on top very nicely, evenly and you know, always make sure that you are doing it very nicely with patience and that is when you get very good end results. Now once I'm done with the steps on both the coasters, I'm going to leave it to dry. Once they are dry, what I'm going to do is use the same two colors and smudge it with my fingers as you can see. Smudge it to, on the corners towards the center so you get a very vintagey feel and very uh, rugged feel. Can you see how beautiful these are looking? And this was, you know, so easy. Now the next step is to varnish the back. So I'm going to use craft angles varnish and I'm going to varnish the back. Once the back is dried, I'm going to use liquid glaze and pour it on top of the coasters and with the help of a wooden spoon or a wooden popsicle, I'm going to spread it out. See, just pour it straight away onto the coaster and then with the help of a wooden spoon, just blend it, you know, nicely so that it goes corner to corner, leaving no edges and just even coat. And once you are satisfied, keep it flat, make sure you covered it with something so that nothing falls on it. And voila, look at this. Isn't this pretty? I just love the glaze you get with liquid glaze. I hope you enjoyed it. So please keep following me. Keep following Craft Angles everywhere. I hope you make the same product. Bye. Have fun. Thank you.